Well, the frustration is over. We are ready with the toss. The two captains are out here, including the match referee, Ellen Hurst from Australia, I think. Who's got the coin? Rahul has the coin. Heads, Heads is the call from uh, the and South African tail. captain. It's a tail, so there we go. Straightforward decision for you, Rahul. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's been under covers for a while and uh, in a small 30-over game, uh, you want to, you'd like to know what the target is and uh, you'd like to be able to chase it down. After a very long time, you're in a very good position to uh, down South Africa in a series because teams from subcontinent have found it tough. Uh, you won't want to uh, really uh, let them go. Yeah, we've played some good cricket in these in these two games. I mean, uh, you know, in some in some tough conditions, we've really uh, come back and played some very good cricket, and that's shown the spirit of the boys. And it all goes well for us in the in the lead up to the series in England. Uh, but this is an important game, and you know, we'd like to win it. And uh, obviously, at the end of uh, a victory like this, there's a series win. So uh, yeah, the boys are pretty keen to try and do their best. Any changes that you've made to the eleven? Ajit Agarkar is fit, and he comes back in place of uh, young Ishan Sharma. It's a shortened game, so uh, Ramesh Bawar is unlucky to miss out, and Gautam Gambhir comes in his place. Have a good one, Rahul. Thanks, Ramesh. Thanks. Jacques, uh, you'll be batting first on this track. Uh, is it a case of winning the toss and winning the game, or do you think uh, it's not that simple? No, I think it's still going to do something throughout the whole game. It might do a little bit more up front, um, especially with the amount of rain that there's been. But uh, I think throughout the game, uh, the seam as well will have a bit of an opportunity. Your track record against India is very good in one-day cricket. A percentage win rate of over 65%. You'd obviously want to guard it. For sure. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on our record. And, you know, we're going to come out here and give it our best. It's a one-day international and an important game for us. Any changes to the 11? Yeah, Langefeld, uh, Philander and Chabalala Masat. Um, Dale Stan comes in, Kempi comes in. All the best. Thank you very much. News from the centre out here is that India won the toss and they've elected to field first. OK, they've decided that they're going to field first, so the South Africans have been put in. There's a look at the team, Daryl. There's a few youngsters not there. Changes you expected? I think South Africa have gone for safety first. They want to win, which is understandable. I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed not to see Philander and, and uh, Chabalala not playing. And I think South Africa are none the wiser. In that regard, um, I would have backed Philander, I would have backed Chabalala to get in here under pressure because that's what South Africa really want to find out about um, so, their players. Uh, there's a name also not there. Charles Langefeld's been left out. For Dale Stain, you'd go with that, would you, or would you not? I'm for Stain playing. I think he offers pace and he offers good swing, and he's looked in good form, having come from uh, England playing county cricket. I'm with him all the way in that in any start in 11. But the other two, I'm disappointed. Okay, now to chat about the Indian side, as in to see who's left out of that. R.P. Singh Zahir Khan, Ajit Agarka, Piyush Chawla, and you've got Dinesh Kartik. MS Dhoni, you've read Singh will do some bowling as well. Raul Dravid, Gautam Gambhir, Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly also asked to do some bowling. So pretty much a full strength side after the Bucks. Well, I think they obviously can't be playing Sri Sant because of health reasons. Or well, they may have decided Gagaka gives them all-round options in this shortened game. But uh, that's pretty much a made-out sort of story. That you've got again, you've got Chavla playing, which India believe that the spinning option on this sort of pitch is the way to go. It'll help their cause. Okay, tough game in prospect. Thanks for your comments, Daryl. Time now for the action. So we're going to throw you up to the commentators who will be Damien Fleming along with the Luxman Shiva Ramakrishnan. And welcome to the last of the one internationals between India and South Africa. We are very much the decider. They are winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. That's been the pattern of play right through this competition. The openers have done a good job in this series. A.B. De Villiers on a Fenwick. 82 in the last match. That will be his best score so far. Very modest strike rate. Just under 69. And a good average. 48.75. Zaire Khan it will be to start with the new ball. It's been pretty impressive in this series. Shindley overall is a wicket taker. Economy rate coming down in the last few matches. Zahir Khan has the chance to start India off with a rush. <laughs> little bit of swing available straight away. Humidity around 94%. In fact, it will help the ball to swing around. They take the field wrong. Zaid Khan gets to the ball. The first runs on the board. Nivellius gets off the mark. Kind of miss 
end of Zahir Khan's first over. South Africa one for none. He is a wicket taker. Economy rates over five. He's got the ability to pick up early wickets. Great shot. That will make him feel extremely happy. It'll also give him a lot of confidence. ABWS. Just jogged in there. Been down with the flu. If you bowl a medium pace half volley, you're going to go. Particularly to AB De Villiers. Such an efficient player. A little bit of swing, but it doesn't matter. Look at the balance there. Head very, very still. Hits through the line with power. Excellent placement. Good up in. Up goes the finger. First strike for India. Haji Dhanakar, known for his ability to pick up wickets. He also picked up an important wicket, the man in form, Mone von Vick. Now he's certainly a wicket taker. It's taken him all of five balls today to announce himself back in this Indian team. And Van Vick, after a career best 82 last innings, oh, looks pretty adjacent there. Getting him dead in front, good height. Garka likes to look at it, so does Mark Benson. So the first South African wicket. It's happened in the second over, and there's six for one. Captain coming in pretty early, Jacques Hallis, classy performer over the years. Good average, good strike rate, important innings for him and his team. Not a good delivery, the outswinger. Two overs gone, six for one. Quick single, try out the stumps. And the Davies look pretty safe there. Very quick between the wickets. The calling was very important as well. Called early. No hesitation. Pius Chabla gets the ball pretty quickly. Tabil is safely home. Oh, that's another peach! This is an incredible delivery. Agarka coming back from a flu has bowled the dream ball. I'm delighted. Gathering large numbers, the Indian crowd here. And what a start this is for a man who's been sick for the last four days in bed. Rajit Agarkar looks in superb bowling form. Very good rhythm. Moving away after pitching. Jacques Carles once again playing down the wrong line. Isn't that a good sound for a bowler? Timber. Ganguly is delighted. So is the Indian team. Another very important wicket. Jacques Carles has gone for a duck. South Africa, 8 for 2. Michelle Gibbs. In difficult conditions, but uh, he's a difficult batsman to bowl to when he gets going. It was uh, stats on his screen. Oh, he's having a very, very good time. Ajit Agarkar, dream spell. Well, it's a fast, medium masterclass here from Agarka today. To see Callis's feet, he just gets done. Not able to play comfort comfortably on the front foot or back foot, getting caught on the crease and the swing as well. So Agarka, after getting hit for, for first ball, is bowling beautifully. Length, swing, seam. Another dot ball to end a successful over there for India. South Africa, eight for two. Oh, and Stan here is taken. Sachin Tendulkar is taken. AB De Villiers is unmoved. The umpire is unmoved. He reckons it's clipped. The pad on the way to Sachin Tendulkar. And the Indians cannot believe it. Well, incredible take either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his nick this. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiver? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation nick. What was the batsman trying to indicate? And what a poor decision this is. Big outside edge. The 
slipped away and he's put it down. He's put it down this time. Gautam Gambhir, the field at square leg. What's happening here? Very eventful proceedings. Well, I said it at Brighton up. This is amazing cricket. The catch that wasn't given from Tendulkar, one ball. Zahir Khan was charging here in. Gets on the leg stump to be his nails it straight to the fielder. Gumby, who had a couple of attempts at it, and has dropped the ball. But this is the previous ball, just a regulation nick, bringing catch by Tendulka, not out. And now De Beers. This is going to put so much pressure back on Zahir Khan. He'll be so frustrated from one, a taken catch, a drop catch, and now a brilliant pull shot from De Beers. You can see the expression on Tendulka's face just a moment ago disbelief. It's a great shot. He's expecting the shot delivery, threw it away quite nicely. Chief, let's hope Zahir Khan just keeps his wits about him here. He's bowling beautifully, just relax. Although the decision went against him, he's still just got to go in, get the ball the best ball he can each ball. He's on top here. I'm sure he knows. Maybe De Villiers said he was very, very lucky to survive that appeal for the first slip. Just wide of Ganguly at second slip. Ajit Agarkar will not get to it. It's run away to the boundary. Much needed boundary for South Africa. Still good bowling here from Zahir Khan. Getting AB De Villiers to reach for the ball. Fortunately for him, sorry, it's Herschel Gibbs there. He wasn't in control there, and that's the nick. From the previous over, Zahir Khan to AB De Villiers. So, as you can see, pretty comprehensive outside edge there. So, lucky man, will he make the most of it? And he's a sort of all or nothing player. But just looking at AB De Villiers' World Cup in the Caribbean a few months ago, 10 innings, scored 372 runs at an average of 37, which is good, but he made four ducks in those 10 innings. Besides, that included 146, a 92, a 62, and a 42. So, when he gets going, he can get the big scores, but particularly against the moving ball, can find himself in a bit of trouble. But he's got himself going here today. Pushes through. Will it just be the single? So, end of the seventh over, South Africa 18 for two. It's 19 for two. Just like that. He's pitching on the stumps, his bowling left arm over, and Herschel Gibbs is forced to play. But the ball off the wicket goes further away from him and past the outside edge. Hey, it's not easy batting out there. Magnificent stuff. The ball is moving around. Nicely played, flicked onto the onside. He has to cash in on these opportunities when he does get them. Any bad balls have to be put away. And the rotation of the strike is key. R.P. Singh, who has taken the new ball when he's played here, is coming on first change. And he'll be looking to swing it about and follow the act of Ajit Agaka. Fabulous start. He's gone for the pull shot. Herschel gives. It's not short enough. Swung back just to touch and it's bounced over the stumps. <laughs> this is close. Just over the stumps. Not the best shot that Gibbs has played in his life, but he's just trying to get on top of things. At the moment, the bowlers are dominating proceedings. He wants to get or establish his dominance over the new bowler. Good swing, he's getting some good movement from over the wicket, R.P. Singh. And it will be good for him in that it's right at the start of his spell. You're talking about dominance, let's look at his career. 28 wickets in 24 matches, so he gets wickets.
Nicely bowled, good start for R.P. Singh. It starts with a maiden. South Africa, 24 for two. Now it's sort of Ganguly. Still, the field restrictions are on. So he has a deep square leg and he has a long off. There's no fine leg, there's no third man. He's got to bowl very straight. Twenty-five for two. Into over a number twelve now. Twelve of thirty-one. In South Africa, twenty-five for two. Would have liked a fast start. This one. Have been restricted to singles. Have not quite been able to pierce the field. Maybe the Villiers throwing his head back there as he completed that single. off the outside edge looking to cut that Herschel gives and it's just one run into the deep somewhere along the line no doubt South Africa will look to step on it they hope that this ball will stop to swing as much as it is and stop to do a whole lot but just with how long it's been as far as the weather is concerned with so much rain today and overnight and the pitch being under the covers you don't expect that in 20, 25 overs, it would have stopped moving about. Twenty-seven for two. Boy! Well, oh, that was well bowled. Beautifully bowled, in fact, by Saurav Ganguly. And I was just about to say, why open the field as much as they have? Because that's an easy single opportunity, but that came in off the seam, just going over the stumps, beating Dhoni. <laughs> oh! Shots of catch it, it's out. And the fingers gone up and inside edge onto the pad and straight up into the air. AB de Villiers has gone for 15. South Africa have lost another wicket. Well, you've got to hand it to Saurav Ganguly. Magnificent bowling. He got the ball to move away from the right-handers in the previous over. This time, the ball came in, bat onto pad, and a very easy take for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So that is another big wicket. Big blow to South Africa. De Villiers gone. Got 15 of 35. It's 28 for three. And that brings Jean-Paul Dumini to the crease. Young in his international career, talented, will have to play well because conditions certainly are in favor of the bowling side at present. Here's Ganguly. Huge shot and it's been given out. Two and two for Saurav Ganguly. He's turned it on. South Africa, four down. This is magnificent stuff. And he's filling the fifth bowler's role. I got the impression that it may have been pitched outside leg, but we've only got to wait and see. Oh, that's that's in line and it's going to hit leg. So that's a good decision by umpire Alimdar. Two and two. So Dubin is gone for not sort of Ganguly on a hat trick. It's 28 for four. Here he goes, hat trick ball. No. Oh. The crowd. Listen to them, they were so disappointed with that. Happened so quickly as well. The batsman's out there already. And Ganguly, with his short run up, was in there. That's the first wicket. Inside edge onto the pad and straight up in the air. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni from behind the stumps. Doesn't have too much to do in taking the catch. Ganguly, very happy. Now, if you thought he was happy after that one. Too short that time and pulled away by Herschel Gibbs. There's a man in the deep. Field is spread far and wide. 
but still Ganguly able to get through the batsman. So a couple of wickets in that over and four runs. South Africa struggling, 31 for four. That's Justin Kemp's career, looks good. And when we say it is doing a lot out there, it is no exaggeration. It's very difficult to bat. Justin Kemp has to do well here. May not have the time to get 100. It's lots of time to bat. Well, the Indians will be well aware of his capabilities. That 100 not out was against India when South Africa were on the mat. Six down, if I remember correctly, and he had that particularly good innings on that occasion. So he can be devastating on his day. Nova, 31 for four. A credit to Ganguly, he got the length right, got a bit of swing to go with it. So it's going to be tough here for South Africa. They've got to somehow consolidate for a little while, yeah, get a partnership going, but only 16 overs or so left, so they can't spend too much time doing that. The problem is you can easily get on the skids in this sort of situation. Get caught between the two. Before you know it, you've lost a couple of wickets, so it's going to require some brilliance here. Someone's going to have to really play a special knock. Pick up a single, even though Herschel Gibbs was blocked for about half a second by the extravagant Saurav Ganguly run-up. 35 for four. And we'll have drinks here. <laughs> Is it close enough to call? Not really. Mark Benson been put under a lot of pressure here. It was a good, decent delivery. Maybe that front foot stride saved him. Emphasizing the importance of getting a good stride in here is Justin Kemp. That's probably pitched in line. It's got to be close. It's just caught him ever so slightly on the move. Benefit of the doubt going to the batsman. Such a special delivery that he has after seeing it. He gets it going late. Nicely played. Kemp will pick up a single, 16 overs bowled by India, 38 for four. There's a fielder there, only be one. Just three boundaries in this inning so far. Running hard, Herschel Gibbs will he come back for the second. Sachin Tendulkar is caughting the ball, and then finally getting it. It's 43 for four. It's a spanking drive, but it'll only be one. Settle Gibbs is out there, 21 from 37, one boundary. Bit of support for South Africa as well. See a bit of green in the crowd. He's the man now that's had time to spend at the crease. 22. 38 balls or so. So it's important, yeah. South Africa will feel that he needs to bat through. Boundaries haven't uh, come easily uh, under these conditions. After this, there's only 13 overs remaining. When will he look to be really aggressive? Looking for the ball, it went to the leg side, came slip, but he still uh, has enough fuel in his tank to come back for the second. 49 for four. has been very athletic in the field a bit of hesitation but in the end they finally make it 50 is raised that didn't look too pretty for South Africa it was Herschel Gibbs call but as they say never uh, look for a run off a misfield oh! that's 
has certainly beaten him and the keeper. Ganguly making life difficult not only for the batsman but also for his buddy. 52 for 4. He's always in that area, Zorov Ganguly. He's, he's got a good rhythm going here today. Ball coming back into Herschel Gibbs. That's the one that he struggles with. That's Apesh and almost taken by Karthik. He's such a good fielder. Almost uh, brought out a terrific catch. That's so half chances uh, win matches. Second one that India put down, yep. Beer was the earlier culprit. Did it cost him too much in the end? Who knows? This may cost him. It can be a very dangerous player. Would have been a great catch. Let's be honest. RP Singh looks uh, disappointed, but uh, terrific effort from Karthik. Nicely struck, what a lovely drive through the offside. No need to run for that one. That'll relieve the nerves. There's a lot of calmness about that drive. Well struck from Kent. He's a good player on the ground as well. He doesn't necessarily have to hit the ball in the air to get a boundary. When he times it, oh, it's going to beat any field. Good strike of the ball. What? 58 for 4, 20 overs ball. Oh, Dhoni was going way down the leg side. That would have been a good indicator for Alim Da. It's not far off. Maybe height's been a factor. That's beautifully put away by Kemp. Such a good timer of the ball. He had the view of the field in his focus as well. Did place it beautifully. Smart cricket from Kemp. Just helping it on its way there. Square leg is in front of square, be aware of that. Just needs to get good bat on it. And we'll get to the boundary. That's another big one. It's almost travelled the distance. Really powerfully hit by him. Needs a good innings for South Africa here, Justin Kim. He's moved to 23 from 34 now, very dangerous. Not all that short, it was a little bit wider, and he's gone for it. Brilliant piece of cricket. Picking the gap between the wide mid-on and the man at square leg. That's the line to ball to him, not to allow him any width. The fifth bowling option, in fact, the man who's been doing very well for India. This is his fifth game. Pius Chawla has the ball. This is going to be interesting. Justin Kemp will receive. Catch it! In the air for a while. They're going to get one, certainly. Got to be content with that. So, this is a defining moment in the game, Damien. And it depends on how this young leg spinner performs. If he can get a wicket, that could change things around. Has played late. That'll probably run away. That was very cleverly done. Just room outside the off stump. And it got what it deserved. Yes, fabulous timing here. It was the wrong end, but it was very, very wide. Gibbs had a lot of time to rock onto the back foot and just place it where he wanted to. Good timing, running all the way for four. So pressure on Chowler. Down during his first over. Needs to tighten up that length on offside and maybe throw it up. Arun and, and get them to use their feet. They're not as comfortable the South Africans using their feet to spin. Yuvraj Singh. 
but the endeavor is to try and complete the fifth bowling option from both ends. Yeah, definitely, and without as much hurt as possible. But Yuvraj, it was a big factor last game, wasn't he, with his three wickets bowling first when it was the medium paces that dominated early. And he's such a handy part-time option because he turns the ball and he comes from a great height. Pulls out of a cut shot there, Herschel Gibbs. So end of it, over from Yuvraj Singh, 76 for four. Well, that is a beautiful shot. That's all the way, that's six. That is handy, but magnificent follow through of the bat. Just the hint of room outside the off stump, and he went through with it over extra cover. He's a brilliant player, Herschel Gibbs. Very, very attractive. He brings the spectators in to watch him bat. And that's a beautiful shot. Got some width outside off stump. Good enough to hit it on the cover. And now just a little dab down the leg side to bring up the 50 partnership between Gibbs and Ken. And it is an important one. He's gone for it again, didn't make contact, but that's a good line to just keep bowling middle and leg, force him to play against the turn, and also very straight. Well, the horizontal shot's a risk, isn't it? There's a risk you might york yourself or get a top edge. The vertical bat is probably more favoured by Kemp and Gibbs. See another little dab shot there. Will he get away with it? Some ordinary fielding down there. So here can't, finally gets the ball in though. End of the 24th over, South Africa 88 for four. Oh, that is a huge hit. It's probably higher than the length that he wanted. But it was in the gap, he's got two. So these are gonna be very difficult overs for the spinners as long as Justin Kemp is there. Yeah, Kemp will say it's just a nice, delicate chip shot there. Bernie's such a powerful man, isn't he, Kemp? You just don't want him to be able to get that stable feet and get a real wind-up like that ball. They got away with it there. And he'd be happy with giving the ones, the three fielders in the deep on the onside. That's been his endeavor and it's been working so far. South Africa currently would take them to about 116, but they certainly want to be around 140 or 150 mark. Oh, that is a magnificent hit. Flat, long, just about not reaching the fence there. On the bounce, it's past the boundary. That's a real monster hit. Yeah, well improvised. It's a slap. It wasn't too short, but he's just got powerful forearms. Just a jab through mid-wicket four. Oh, goodness me. That has hit the scoreboard. It's out of here. Six for Justin Kemp. That's a huge over. 14 from it. 102 for four. That can be tight. Direct throw may have got him. But I don't think I don't think he hit the ball to the wickets. But he's asked for the third umpire. I'm sure we'll get a good look out here. And I think Herschel Gibbs feels he hit the stumps with the ball. Because it appears like Gibbs wasn't charging. He didn't try and ground his bat. Oh, he, he might have just given up there. Has he hit the stumps with his knee? Oh, nah, the ball's just missed. Gone through with his hands. We'll have to take another look at that angle. Maybe the ball also hit the stumps. But no, the umpire's pretty convinced. That's a big let off for Herschel Gibb. He wasn't even in the frame. He'd given it up. The 
throw came on the half volley. Didn't collect it properly. Just take another look. It's another angle. Collects it. Well. Herschel Gibbs, it's in the air, has it gone all the way? And it has. So Herschel Gibbs towing the sit ball, it's gone all the way to six, so, so after 26 overs, South Africa 112 for four. Didn't quite get it from the meat of the blade, but enough on it to take it over the fence, straight over the bowler's head for six. So big overs now there for South Africa, another 10 from that. Again, another flat hard hit, but he just finds the fielder. Another couple of yards here or there, he would have got a four. Even that shot there showed the power of Justin Kemp. It's gone very, very fast and the mid on. So 87 of 85 balls, this pair. That's gone straight over his head, too short, and Karthik, as fast as he is, can't cut it off. Just too short. An easy hit for Herschel Gibbs. Oh, good shot this. Improvisation as well from Herschel Gibbs. Getting time on the back foot. Hitting the ball hard and straight. Not too many fielders there. Zahir Khan needs to get them playing off the front foot. This is stunning cricket. 28 for four at one stage, now 119 for four. That's well bowled. That's the area you should be targeting a lot more. Seven from the over, it's 119 for four. Does he hit it too well? Should get at least two. Now he'll draw with the fielder. This spell from uh, Ajit Agarkar Zahir Khan can give us an indication of how much life, how much juice there is still in this pitch. They are bowling with the old ball. The sun's been out for a couple of hours, which is a good sign. Hopefully, from India's point of view, we'll get better for batting. But the outside edge, he's gone hard at that. He'll get yet another boundary. Also brings up the 50 for Justin Kim. He's been such an important part of this innings. Justin Kemp is 50 coming just at the right time and at the right pace. Strike rate almost touching 100. He came in at a critical juncture of the innings. South Africa wanted stability. South Africa wanted a bit of impetus. He's provided them both. 61 minutes of dazzling stroke play from him. It's 127 for four. And he's bowled it. What a delivery right into the block hole. He's had a superb spell with the new ball and he's been in great bowling form ever since he's made a comeback into this Indian team. And this is an important breakthrough with this partnership. He's getting runs in a hurry. He's passionate about his performance and being included in the playing 11s, Zahir Khan. He was a part and parcel of this particular team just about 12 months back, but he's now come back looking a lot more fitter, a lot more uh, keen, and he's got rid of Siddle Herschel Gibbs for 56 with a delightful Yorker. 127 for 6. Boucher, what a player he has been for South Africa, especially in a situation like this. The final legs inside the ring, it'll be a boundary. Boundary to get off the mark for Mark Boucher. South Africa are looking to punch India quite badly. With final leg up in the ring, that was a wrong line to bowl. Oh, a little bit of good fortune going for Ajit Agarkar and the Indians. Keeper! 
might have been a boundary. Those are pissing at long off. Finish Karthik wired at long on. It was a firmly struck drive. Kept the man on strike. Kultos and mid wickets will just watch it sail over into the stands. What a hitter Justin Kemp is turning out to be. Be playing with fire by bowling that kind of ball to Justin Kemp, who's uh, gone past his 50. Wow, what a hit. Terrific to watch, Kemp. Oh! He's golden this time. Looking to repeat the shot over mid-wicket. A little triumphant uh, signal from Tendulkar. But he's played a very good innings, Justin Kemp. You hardly see Sachin Tendulkar getting passionate about uh, the job that he's doing. But uh, those gestures clearly demonstrating uh, a different Sachin Tendulkar for us after being hit for a six. This was his reply. But he's done his job remarkably uh, well, Justin Kemp. Brilliant 61, South Africa, 144 for six. Straight down the ground, and it's a brilliant attempt to save it. He's done particularly well, saving a couple of runs for his side. He may have dropped a catch. Gautam Gambhir was lightning quick across the ground to save this boundary. Crafty shot from Mark Boucher, hitting the ball straight, and look at this great effort. Dinesh Karthik tidying up the effort. What commitment from a young cricketer. That is what you want. And straight down the ground, Gambhir will pick it up on the bounce. He just a single. Ten runs. Like ten runs have come from this over so far with one delivery remaining. Slow delivery from Sachin once again. Boucher doing the right thing by trying to hit the ball as straight as possible. Got two gazelles at long on and long off India. Karthik and Gautam Gambhir has been very impressive. The last ball coming up. Three men in the deep on the leg side. Dinesh Karthik it will be. Takes it quite comfortably in the air. Two wickets for Tendulkar in the last over of the innings. Hall, the last man dismissed was looking to clear the fence at long on. Had to play the shot, and he's got to go. India with a clear cut advantage. South Africa restricted to 148 for seven. Even though the charge came, but uh, India had it covered. Dinesh Karthik had it covered, definitely. Confidently taken by him at long off. In fact, at long on, so uh, India have. Uh, displayed once again the quality to limit the South Africans after winning the toss. Andrew Hall was the last man to be dismissed for one. On Karthik pole, Tendulkar. Tendulkar has picked up two wickets. Now South Africa really will have to pull and feel out of their skins to uh, win this one. We know that they have the ability and capacity to do that. Gibbs with a Gibbs like 56 and Kemp was terrific with the bat, 61 from 61, has given uh, hope and lift to the South Africans. Twenty-eight for four at one stage, then a much-needed partnership between Kemp and Gibbs, 99, coming in good time, just the 95 deliveries. And Kemp and Boucher, 17 of just 12. Bowling. Very good at the top. Zahir Khan, Ajit Agarkar, quite splendid with the new ball. Agarkar in his comeback match, picking up two wickets. And Saurav Ganguly was quite exceptional in his uh, full quarter of six overs, two for 24. The spinner is very expensive indeed. In Dulka in the end of the last over, picking up two wickets. India need less than five runs and over. Very doable. Wicket would certainly have improved with this bright sunshine on it. So India certainly, at the moment, looking pretty good. They are looking good, Arun. But so are South Africa, to be honest. This ball will keep swinging. It will still do a little bit. Kemp and Gibbs put on a very good partnership. Gave South Africa a chance. But they'll have to get through this man. He's in good form. South Africa may be thinking that he's due to fail, but you never know when you're dealing with a man uh, as good as he is. 
Ganguly is the other partner. And it will all go, it will all depend probably on how India go against this new ball. They need to get through it, get some runs on the board, and South Africa need to strike with the new ball. First 10, 12 overs or so could very much decide this match. Yes, South Africa would believe that they've got to get India all out if they've got to win this one. Because if they bat 31 overs, certainly they'd get about 149 is what they need. Ganguly also 10,000 runs. There are more than 25,000 runs, almost 26,000 runs between these two. Massive amount of experience there. They too would know that the first 10 overs will be crucial not to give wickets up front to the new ball. Because relatively, it becomes easier once the new ball is, has been dealt with. Dale Stain, he's been off for a couple of games. He's quick, he can move the ball. That's just what is required at the moment. To get a few wickets up front. Just his sixth game. It's early days in his career, Darren. Very much so, but it's got plenty of promise. Good pace and swing. That's what South Africa will be looking for, yeah. But that pace can be a downfall on this sort of pitch. These conditions, which are slow. It's got to come with good accuracy. All those runs that they have to deal with. They'll be aware of their vast experience of these two batsmen. They'll remind themselves, South Africa, both these great players are naught right now. Ganguly to take first strike. Starts with the wide, also falls over. Now that's one area where the Indians were immaculate. No wides, no no balls. It's a critical area, Arun. You just can't afford any extras. Defending 148. But you feel that as we've seen in the previous matches, sides that have batted second, they can control the game and they know what they're chasing. They've had their band off. And, and that's where I'll say that India, yes, probably do have the advantage. No way. Also, I get the impression that once the sun blazes down the way it is at the moment for the last couple of hours, it's been the case. Certainly, the early freshness that the Indians enjoyed, that much is not going to be there for the South Africans. They've got to work that much harder. There's no stopping that one. Finally got to the fence. Four from the last delivery. Six without loss. It's a no-go area on his pads. I keep saying it. It's not intentional from Stone. It's just the nature of his sort of bowling. Striving for a bit of swing. And when it doesn't, he can just go straight on. The outside edge, both of them just, just looked at each other. Regulation. Big let off for Tendulkar. You know, these things happen when you, you have a first slip, but generally it doesn't feel first slip. He's looked at Callis, Callis has looked at him. Neither's taken it. It's taken this time. Brilliantly bowled, so that's wicket number one. Sachin Tendulkar edging outside the off stump, and this time it was Boucher who got his glove under it. Big wicket for South Africa. Got out of jail, yeah. Took the brilliance of Boucher to get rid of Tendulkar, but credit to Ntini, he's looked to get it up to him today. Bounced him, lost the battle in the previous match. This is smart cricket from South Africa and Makai Ntini. Boucher finishes it. That'll give them a lot of encouragement. The danger man goes after a brilliant week. He's due to fail once or twice. India, 11 for 1. Well, the new man in is Gautam Gambhir. India, 11 for 1. Sachin Tendulkar back. So, a bit of pressure now. Gautam Gambhir. Got a zero in the first game. Didn't play the next. He's back in the third against South Africa. He's gone for the pull. He doesn't get too much power on it because of the lack of back speed in his pull shot. So, late. But he does get one. That's a good shot. That's four. So that should give him a lot of confidence, Gautam Gambhir. Full flow of the hands. It's 
well played and equally well fielded now he's gone well they've asked the question get the feeling that Gambhir is back but Ganguly hadn't moved and Gambhir had almost shook hands with him and came back he almost ran too now this could be disaster from the Indian perspective it almost was but we'll have to wait and see was Ganguly ball watching in fact he was now this is a good recovery effort by South Africa oh, it's gonna be tight to his in Maybe De Villiers was at point, so he'd have had a good look at this. He didn't seem convinced. Wasn't too excited. Not out. Bad, a direct hit would have had him. But really, Gautam Gambhir almost ran two there. Sort of Ganguly. Took a few steps. I didn't see him yell no. The green light does come on. He's a wicket keeper. That's what he normally does for his uh, provincial side. Oh, he's bowled it. Short ball. He went for the pull. Under edging it straight onto the stump. So he's played on. He's gone. Wicket number two for South Africa. This is hotting up. Ambitious by Gambir. He's new to the wicket. Looking to pull one of the quicker bowlers around. Not quite short enough. That's good bowling by Stein. Some must say it's lucky, but he's rushed him. He's forced a mistake. India now 20 for 2. An important innings this for Rahul Dravid. Another 10,000 plus run scorer. They've really got to get all their experience to count here. Saurav Ganguly is with him at the other side. I keep stressing the point. This is really important for India's perspective. That's how Gautam Gambhir went and Daryl was right, a little ambitious. He should have been playing it on the offside. He's the fastest bowler on display here. Oh, well bowled. Really got him caught in an awkward position, but he got away. Gets one. Well controlled in the end. Last match got out in similar fashion. Just pushed one straight up and Andrew Hall was the bowler. So it's not short enough there, is it? It's wide as well. Not that wide, but he's had to come and fetch it. Often see batsmen drag on like that. No, 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 no. A dot ball to end the over. A successful one for Dale Stain. It's 21 for two after five. Maybe De Villiers is beaten by that cut shot that wasn't timed properly by Rahul Javid, but even then he'll be able to pick up to his, uh, not too comfortable with uh, Ganguly's running or having Ganguly as his running partner. Just a little bit cautious there, Rahul. It should have been three, really. Here's a shot. And A.B. De Villiers puts in the dive, but unable to get there. Here's a look at the running as well. It sets off and goes pretty quickly. Look at Ganguly run. Turns back and then tentative going for that third one that was available really if they'd taken it on he's around the wicket to Ganguly and he's played a great drive sublime timing from Saurav Ganguly so good through that area of point and cover pleasing on the eyes and uh, pleasing fact for the fans as well that he's middling the ball yeah right into his arc here, doesn't have to move the feet, the ball's going towards him, Saurav Ganguly, he can just swing the bat, all timing, nobody moves all the way for four. I fear he's playing into his hands here, Dale Stan going around the wicket. As much as it's trying to cramp him for room with the ball still new as a right arm fast bowler and Saurav Ganguly vulnerable outside the off stump with the ball going away. You're better served going over the wicket and trying to keep it going away from him and have him feeling for it. He has been out twice before nicking it outside the off stump. So around the wicket, maybe not the best idea. No, no! It's again good early call from uh, Saurav Ganguly. The moment he hit the ball, he was uh, shouting no, no to his partner. 
He's gone for the pull shot, he's uh, middled it quite nicely. The ball will go across for a four. It's 33 for two now. He's got it away. He's got to do something. This time around. Nicely away. I think we are uh, witnessing an extra ball being bowled here. Thirty-three for two. It's gone to the keeper, but only off the bat. Once again, not looking too happy out there, Raul Dravid. Half an appeal. They started to go up behind the stumps and then realized that nope, it didn't come off the bat. Beat him and came off the protection. There you go. In a thigh pad, it's got a bit of padding to it and straight through to Boucher. Once again, stuck on his back foot, Raul Dravid. it is the call the ball will sail away for a six in fact it's a boundary but nicely played by Saurabh Ganguly he made sure that he got inside the line of that one just helped it along really helped it on its way by getting inside the line was able to just help it down to just wide a fine leg That particular replay was, for me, it was a boundary. I thought the ball had uh, gone past the boundary for a six, but uh, nevertheless, pretty useful stuff from Saurav Ganguly. You can be forgiven, mate. It's a bit bright here. Eighteen of twenty-three balls. Four, fours of three. It is bright. You can hardly see here. Your glasses look good. They borrowed. <laughs> Taken, caught behind. Finger is raised by the umpire. It's the end of Saurav Ganguly's innings. And Renel has uh, done a fair bit of damage here. Good delivery. A difficult delivery for Saurav Ganguly. It's into him and then it just straightens off the pitch. Have a look at that. Andre Nell, very good at doing that. Does it a lot in test cricket. Decides here against Ganguly that despite having got him out from over the wicket in recent times, in this series, he'll go around. Gets the wicket, is ecstatic. Has done well for South Africa. Three down now, India, for 38. Youth to the rescue. Yuvra Singh has come out there. And gets a good one from Andrenel. What an over. Picked up a wicket. 38 for three. Second successive maiden by Makai and Tini. Both maidens have been played by Rahul Dravid. 38 for three. End of first power play. He's got a fair amount of experience and Dhoni and Kartik to come. Yes, these fellows may not get the headlines in the newspapers, but uh, they certainly uh, do make the headlines in the dressing room. Ooh. Again, tight call. Alindar is unmoved. Doing a little too much off the seat, perhaps. Good afternoon, David. Afternoon, Shiva. Andrew Hall liked it. Linda was not interested right from the start. It has, ooh, it has done a fair bit, but it's hit Jarvid right on the crease. I don't think height's a problem. Might have been just hitting leg stump there.
Oh, again, closing the face of the bat. What he's done right through this innings. They're fortunate to pick up the single. This man, Andre Nell, is charging in. Singh gets it through the covers. Won't go all the way. Just the two there. So consecutive balls to score a shot shift. A tight call from the umpire. He's called it a wide. Back in there. They're looking at a target of 149 and the 31 overs have lost three wickets, three very important wickets. Tendulkar, Gambhir and then Ganguly. Very good economy right, Andrew Hall. Economical as always. This time he makes much better contact. Doesn't mean to work too many runs on the leg side, Rahul Ravid. It's a big gap between the man and square leg and mid on. Will pick up three in the end. <laughs> Running the first one hard. He just get the single on by doing the fielding. 14 overs gone. It's 47 for three. Rare misfield. Ashil gives the fielder. Just a single to Yuvraj Singh. So the partnership you spoke about, Damon, came very good time, just of 95 deliveries, and the ball was doing a great deal. But they played well. They weren't flying early. As we have a look at a rare error by Herschel Gibbs. Andre now he's happy. <laughs> Another good delivery. pace as well 88 miles an hour so back right on target with his bouncer underrated ball in one day cricket very rarely gets scored off so another drop ball there they keep building that'll be a white he isn't happy the team is uh, nature of being very expressive Loud yell on the location from Andre Nell. Bottom hand coming into play. He's found the gap. Doesn't have enough to get to the fence. Could that be the boundary that break the shackles for India? Yeah, this is a clever shot. Smart play here by Yuvraj. Just another little punch flick. A little bit shorter from Hall. It's a lovely use of the wrists. He's running the first one hard. He's taking the field run. Comfortable two in the air from Darwin. That's gone through the slip court. Chase for Makai and Tini. Oh, a misfielded badly by him. That should have been stopped. He's been poor this week in the field, Makai and Tini. He's got the teapot from the captain from game one, and today's no different. Lacking in intensity. This is what happens. You're not quite there. You can't afford this, South Africa. Full shot is played well. There's a fielder there. Jimini was the fielder that throws in. Edge, and that's gone through the gap. He's having a laugh at it. Mark Boucher uh, was away from the line of the ball. Andrew Hall was uh, half ready. He was looking to wear his... Uh, jumper then uh, he put it behind his back that ball exactly went between the two dissected both of them slow delivery once again the ball finds the edge once again well this time it's fielded by Andre Nell 
only a single taken. Yuvraj Singh is uh, currently out of form. Geller sees the funny side to all of this. Through the keep and slip, now wide of the slip. He's got him wide for something that'll go more or less wide. <laughs> it's gone too wide. Maybe change the, the slip cordon for a change of luck. Just one of those days. Catch and brilliantly done, is it? Oh. Once again, a case was created by Jacques Callis. South Africans have just not been lucky, not been good in the field. Full stop. That's it, uh, Ramiz. You're spot on there. That's it, extremely hard off the back foot. Will he come back for the second? Dive is in from uh, Dubini. He recovers well. Throws the ball back to the keeper. I think I'll uh, go that route, Del. For about a couple of overs at least. Well, they need a wicket, don't they, South Africa? That, you feel that that's going to really get India panicking and get a new batsman in who takes a bit more time and then the run rate uh, jumps. Punishing drive off the back foot. Certainly he's found form. Yep, keep it. Just, uh, just in camp. So oh. is at the keeper's end. Rahul Dravid, where was he going? 75 for 3. Robert seemed convinced that 2 was on. Is there a bit of panic amongst him and your person? Mm. Well, he surprised him with that delightful cut shot. Too quick for Fenwick. Such a good timer of the ball, you of Raj Singh. You provide him with, and when he's on song, he makes it look extremely easy. Not quite the right length uh, from Callis. Powerful strike with the ball. He's moved on to 25 from 43. Squared him up. Uh, there's also a no ball, so... South Africa, she's releasing a bit of pressure here. Nothing in front of the pitch there. 48% of runs have come through the offside. 52% through the off. Oh, delightful drive. Made it look so easy. He's treat to watch when he's rolling. For a moment it may have been a, a chance, but there, yeah, not really. Hit it straight. Upish there. Fifty partnership is raised as a result of that uh, spanking drive through the offside. Missed time that one. Big last ball for Justin Kemp. Nine runs conceded so far with uh, one ball remaining in second over. Far from the over already. Change of pace does it for you. 90 for three. This is a happy marriage. 52 runs of 81 balls. 30 runs of 50 balls. Yuvraj Singh is finding his rhythm now. Rahul Dravid has been a patchy. 21 and on strike. He's lifted the ball and uh, he'll cross the boundary. Out of the blue. I think this was a slow ball. He spotted it early. Here we go. In fact, it was from Callis pulling up. Drivers just followed through with the stroke. Boundary of the first ball. Now it's very much an over. Picking things off uh, yeah, for India. That's the way to go after hitting a boundary. A 
exposed his strike to his uh, exposed the strike to the partner, which he has done. South Africa was 74 for four. India have galloped ahead of them after uh, same stage of the game, 95 for three. Jack Callis has maintained the same field for Yuvraj. Slip is in place. That's gone. Well timed by Rahul Dravid. He'll like it. India's 100 is posted as a result of that solid pull shot. Jack Callis is not happy, possibly thinking that the fielder was in uh, the wrong side of the park. Okay, this was uh, well executed by Rahul Dravid. Picked up the length early and skipped the fielder in the deep. Just said earlier, Romy, he's been batting deep in his crease. Doesn't need it to be that short on a slow pitch. And he's a good puller of the ball. One of the best around. More like it. Straight drive from Rahul Dawid, his first of the innings. Growing in confidence. South Africa certainly struggling now. It's been a great over for India. 14 off the over. I think he's had us fooled all along, Rahul Dawid. He's just waiting, wasn't he? Playing well within himself. Seizing the moment. Like all good players. Gets a half volley, bad ball, he'll put it away. Fifteen off the over, very good one for India. Forty-five more required now. One of four for three. Played a cut shot, late cut shot. He'll keep the strike. Just two runs from the over. Good one for uh, South Africa. One of seven for three. Because they need to get some wickets and very quickly. Because at the moment uh, it seems to be plain sailing for India. This partnership has done phenomenally well. 70 of 95. Slow to start. It wasn't easy out there. It hasn't been throughout the match. But now, once they are settled, it's it's looking very good for India. Seven wickets in hand, run a ball. If you want to change that equation, you've got to take wickets. That's a Nimbus Sport production, and you have the chairman of Nimbus Sport, Mr. Harish Thamani, with him, the BCCI secretary, Mr. Niranjan Shah. They're going for it. And maybe he's got him. Goodness me, that is just what the Indians didn't want. Unbelievable. He didn't even try to dive. He was just too far away. Rahul Dravid is gone. Oh, brilliant. A little bit of brilliance just to twist things here. Mark Boucher behind the stumps. Took a fantastic catch earlier. Have a look at this. A quick single. It's gone behind and you expect that Raul Dravid can get there easily. He can't. There's no way. He's trying to run in line with the stumps so that the ball cannot get past him and go to the stumps. But Boucher has got a hard enough throw in and he gets it to the stumps. Dravid gone for 36. A big blow for India. South Africa may be back in it. 108 for four. Off the outside edge. Well, staying running in. That's good pace. 147.5 kilometers an hour. Mahendra Singh Dhoni goes to the strike with that single. There's a look at his average. Just about 47. 76 match. 183 not out his best score very close to 100 to 100 balls this is why he's out there see the hesitation in the running and then he decides to try and get in line with the stumps but doesn't expect the throw to come in hey you can get in line with any amount of stumps that you want to but you still got to extend your bat to get in and i felt that maybe maybe he had a chance of getting in if he had dived or even just extended his bat in this is, well, 
might have to look back to that with a lot of disappointment. But for the moment, it's Dhoni and he's off the mark. But whatever it is, it's really just for the doctor order to breathe new life into this game. Rahul Dravid has given them an opportunity, the South Africans. He's gone for it. There's a man out there. One air fake. Thoughts of a couple. Oh, he's taking it on. I thought it would be the Mahindra Singh Dhoni who would be doing that, but Yuvraj coming back and really testing Kemp on that occasion. Found wanting Justin Kemp. I think Justin Kemp, not only was he slow, but he didn't realize that they were going to come back for the second. Dhoni didn't want it, but Yuvraj pushed and made it with ease. Oh, tight. Oh, they missed it. A direct hit. I tell you what, that would have been pretty close. From those reactions, you expect if he had hit, it would have been gone. Yes, there was hesitation. This was a tight one. Yuvraj certainly would have gone. He dived. Oh, it would have been touch and go. He's got to go hard. He knows that he can't, couldn't have sent Dhoni back, yes. If it had hit, it would have been all over for Yuvraj Singh. Their nervous smiles. Dinesh Kartik, got a cool head on him. Here's the next. One. And the over seven of that one. One, one, eight for four. Slow ball, it's up in the air. Is this going to be out? Oh, no, it's not. It's six runs. He didn't get all of that, Yuvraj Singh, and you have the tallest bloke in the South African side there on the boundary, Justin Kemp, and he would have needed a ladder to get to it. Yes, what a shot. What a shot indeed. That's a brave hit. There is a man in the deep who didn't quite get it. Maybe he wasn't intending it to go right at Justin Kemp. There was a long off fielder. It was a mere spectator. Huge hit. Tilts it. It's now 25 from 27 required. So just less than a runner ball. And now Yuvraj Singh and Mahendra Singh Dhoni do not need to take risks anymore. That one little risk. Yuvraj Singh going for the big shot then. Allows them the comfort of looking for just singles. Nine off. That final Dale staying over. 127 for four. And as far as India are concerned, they'll be thinking, well, we're bound to get one or two or three we can put away over the boundary. And when that first one comes, we've got to make sure we pounce all over it and put the pressure back on South Africa. So it's tense here. Well, I think this is the over that the Indians have really got to take by the scruff of its neck because they need to take a few risks, a few chances. One big over, six wickets in hand, seven runs and over. They need at least 10-12 in this one. You certainly want to make it exciting, don't you, Arun? I don't want to leave it too late, uh, Tommy. They need a boundary this over. Here are the bowling options. Stain done. Dini done. We've got Hall, who's got one more over. Nell, who's got one after this one. And then either Cullis or Kemp also. Up in the air, has it gone wide of third man? Yes, it has, of four runs. 16, or 16. Well, that's what was required in this over. 
The man to take the risk has got to be Mahendra Singh Dhoni because the set batsman is Yuvraj Singh. They certainly are following that script. Two more overs after that. That was a short one outside the off stump. That was an opportunity and he took it. But he would have gone for anything. Got the boundary under his belt, so they've got five from two. Nicely done. Dot ball. Precious a dot ball is. You ask South Africa in this position if they'll take the last over, having to be worth six or less. I think they would. Really do you ask India? Would they want that? Six or less in the last over, they'll probably say, oh no, less. He's hit it, he's hit it well. Kalis puts the dive in, can't get there. Four more, second boundary in the over from Dhoni. That should settle it. Mahendra Singh Dhoni realized that this was the over to go for it. He's got away with it, but this is a spectacular shot. Not only was it hit hard, but it's also got to be hit in the gap. Carlos despairing dive. The ball had already passed him. Uh, he was never in the hunt. What a magnificent shot. That's brought up everybody in the dressing room. They know the value of those two boundaries. of a single only from Dhoni though. It's gone for it. Only one though. 138 for four. You can get it in that hole. One run. Thinking of two. Oh, very slow to get off the fence. Dale Stain, who's that long on. But this is getting interesting. 10 of 10. Still in the hunt, South Africa. A wicket now would do very nicely for their cause. Four in the circle, three on the offside, so there's no long off. There's a long on, there's a deep mid wicket, there's a deep fine leg, those are the three on the onside guarding the boundary. He's gone for it. He's looking in that long off region. Doesn't quite get it there though. Two runs. Applauded. Yuvraj Singh because he's got to 50 with those two runs. What a valuable innings it's been for India. His 28th one day international 50. He shakes hands with Mahendra Singh Dhoni. And he'll know that the job is not quite done yet. So close. Magnificent 50 under the circumstances. I keep saying the, the importance of this match is incalculable. He's hit that well. Very well. It's beaten Dale Stain. Four runs to India. So just four more to win from eight balls. That's why they're jumping around the crowd. Well, that almost decapitated uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. There's a lot of contribution by Dhoni because that almost didn't go to the fence. How he avoided it, well, magnificent hit. Well done, Dhoni, to get out of the way. for that two that was the call and that's what he'll get seven balls to go now and Dinesh Kartik is now genuinely smiling no longer just a nervous grin and his teammates as well 
quite happy now. That change room, though, is not happy. I'll say it again, this is the first time India would have beaten South Africa outside India in a one-day series. That's one. The scores are tied. 148 for four. Another statistic let me give you. That this will be only the second time that India would have won a three-match bilateral series after being one down. There they are, lining up. Last time was 1981-82 versus England in India. One forty-eight for four means a lot to India. This it'll hurt South Africa, second-ranked team in the world, South Africa, and generally play good one-day cricket. Not want to have come here and lost this. Want to get? No, nope. not that time. They're in the circle. Lots of them. There's smiles already in the Indian change room. That's because there's just one run to get. Everybody in there in the circle. There are not too many gaps to be exploited. <laughs> Got it! He's whacked it away onto the onside over the infield and India have won by six wickets. Four balls to spare. They won the toss here at Stormont and decided that they would bowl first in a shortened game. 31 overs aside and they went about their bowling quite nicely. Difficult conditions to bat for South Africa. They were four down pretty quickly. And then chasing. India have got home courtesy of Yuvraj Singh who goes off the field and is mobbed by his teammates along with quite a lot of supporters who waited around while the rain came down this morning. India win the Future Cup. It's a good start of a season that is pretty long for India and it was important that they came here and did very well. Yes, uh, really, this is uh, a series of great import for Indian cricket after the poor showing in the World Cup. They needed this shot in the arm. Did well in Bangladesh and have come here and won this series against South Africa. So this will, I tell you, have a lot of significance even for the cricket that's to follow for the Indians. Their belief is back, the smiles are back, the team is together, they performed brilliantly, couldn't have asked for more. And they played it well, winning it by six wickets. Yeah, you look at the two sides and you look at the story of the day. Winning of the toss was important, but it was important also for the Indian bowlers to do well, get the ball in good areas. They did that, put South Africa on the back foot. In the end, they got a respectable total, 158, 148 for seven. Boucher 11 off 9, Kemp 61 off 61, and also Herschel Gibbs 56 off 67. That gave them something to bowl at. They bowled at it, but unfortunately did not take the opportunities that they created. Yes, they will definitely look back. Now that partnership of 99 between Kemp and Gibbs was what really brought them into this game because they were struggling at 28 for 4. Struggling against some tough batting conditions and some good tight Indian bowling, which was just suited for the conditions. The Indians, like I said, bowled perfectly in these conditions. Zahir Khan, seven overs, one for 29. Agarkar, two quick wickets up front, six overs, two for 21. An unbelievable delivery to Kalis in that. Two wickets apiece for Ganguly, who was the surprise package, and Tendulkar, the last over of the match. But Ganguly it was who really surprised everyone with six overs, two for 24. This was the response. Saurav Ganguly, 18 of 24. Sachin Tendulkar gone pretty quickly. But in that, 
was the missed chances. Yuvraj Singh came in and got 61 of 82. Had a good partnership with Rahul Dravid, who got 36 of 49. There's that partnership. It was so needed. 70 of 96. And then the winning one, unbroken, 44 of 35 between Yuvraj Singh and Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Kartik not required today and he'd have been happy about that. Here's a look at the bowling. Dale Stain, one for 35, bowled a good pace, expensive in his first two overs and came back in the third to get a wicket. Then Dini created chances, one for 18 of seven, bowled well, got the ball in, in good areas. Nell, one for 24, and that's all the successful bowlers.